just in time for the creepiest, crawliest holiday, Rolls-Royce introduced AIN to the company's prototype fleet of miniature robots that are designed to go where no mechanic can, into a jet engine on wing. In an effort to shorten the amount of time aircraft spend on the ground in maintenance, inspection, and repair. This is exactly about preventing AOG. It's designed for us to be able to get inside an engine, have a look, if necessary, fix things in the minimal amount of time without taking the engine off the wing. And that, for our customers, would be a real benefit. At Rolls-Royce, we work with a wide range of partners to develop technology, particularly innovative new technology. And, and the great thing is we've been developing technology that's getting smaller and smaller. So now we, we can not only just look inside the engine, but we can actually insert technology into the engine that allows us to do things we've never been able to do before. So a, the snake is a bit like a boroscope. It goes in through a port in the side of the engine. Um, but the clever thing about this is it's able to wiggle its way through right to the very center of the engine. And it can take things with it. So it may have a camera on the end of it. It may, in the future, even have tools that allow it to patch bits of material um, that need attention inside the engine. So we're expecting this to be able to get further and deeper into the engine and to be able to do things that a typical boroscope can't. And we have university partners around the world, including Harvard, who we're working with on what we're calling the swarm robot, the tiny, uh, almost microscopic robots that will crawl inside an engine to allow us to see inside the engine, and perhaps even fix bits inside the engine in the future. They'll provide a live stream of uh, video feed back to a maintenance engineer who's able to see and look inside the engine. Then they'll be collected up and they'll be retrieved using the snake and taken outside of the engine. At Farnborough Air Show this year, we actually showed a prototype of this swarm bug. Um, it was about the size of the palm of your hand, which is fine and it works really well as a prototype. Of course, it needs to be a lot smaller than that if it's going to go inside an engine. Um, so we're looking, I think, you know, maybe five years, maybe ten years. But the po important point here is we're working on this technology so that we can change the way that aircraft maintenance and engine maintenance works. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.